Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. Relationship Goals by Michael Todd In today's world, many of us are cynical when it comes to relationships. Pastor Michael Todd has seen every relationship problem on the planet, from singletons unable to find the one to veteran spouses struggling to keep their marriages alive. This book teaches how to form godly relationships that last, using teachings from the Bible. It also explains how our ideas about relationships are distorted by the media, why dating shouldn't be long-term, and how to shed toxic relationships. The key message is that relationship goals have to be realistic, and that our ideas about what makes a perfect partner are based on superficial things like looks, career, or a person's financial situation. The author asked Sarah whether she had a clear idea about what kind of man she wanted to meet, and she replied with a long list of requirements. As the requirements piled up, the author struggled to keep a straight face. He then revealed that her relationship goals had led her to reject great potential partners for years. He encouraged her to create the right relationship goals, ones that help her fulfill her life's purpose and keep her in line with God's eternal truths. The most effective relationship goals align with God's teaching, and no matter what marital status is, creating and maintaining a strong relationship is essential. The Bible states that the most important goals for those in a godly relationship are being able to show kindness and integrity, and forgiving one another. However, relationships are also about helping partners achieve their life purpose. The author's parents, who are both Christian ministers, took on a leadership role and sang, preached, and prayed for people all over the world. This just goes to show that the right partner can help you move farther along the path God lays out for you. To have healthy relationships with other people, you first need one with God, which is why our relationship with Him should come first. If we stray too far from our relationship with God, then naturally our other relationships start to suffer. This is what happened to the author's old friend Doug, who had a loving wife and children, a thriving business, and a successful career. The author, Doug, stopped believing in God and became pessimistic, judgmental, selfish, and less devoted to things like praying, reading the Bible, and helping his community. This led to his business partnerships failing, his marriage ending in divorce, and his children being damaged in the process. Doug learned that no one is exempt from needing a relationship with God and that it is important to cultivate a closer relationship with Him every day. He also learned that successful relationships start with being single and that God has given us a way of progressing in relationships that involves six key steps, singleness, dating, engagement, marriage, and children. Ultimately, it is up to us to create, maintain, and progress in our relationships, all while keeping them encircled with love. Being single is an important time of life as it gives us time to figure out and develop as people before committing to someone else. To find the right person to marry, it is important to date intentionally. The author met the love of his life, Natalie, at a friend's birthday party and nine years later, they are happily married. Their relationship hasn't always been smooth sailing, but every problem they've encountered has taught them just how right they were to focus on each other from the very start. Taylor and Brandon, a couple who met at Transformation Church, decided that they didn't want to date the same way they used to. They sought advice from the author and his wife, Natalie, and over a period of 90 days, they coached Brandon and Taylor through an intentional dating process. This approach helps them get to know a potential partner without risking their hearts in the process. The Bible tells us that marriage is the ultimate goal of romantic relationships, so any partnership we enter into should lead to that goal. It is important to be selective about whom you're dating and to see marriage as the main goal of your partnership. If a person isn't mateable, they're not dateable, so if you wouldn't marry the person, then don't go out with them. T and Valeria seemed like the perfect couple, but eventually their relationship turned into a wrestling match characterized by harsh words, controlling behaviors, and emotional turmoil. The author spoke to each of them separately about why they broke up, and they both agreed that the relationship had taken priority over their own individual relationships with God. The key message is that if you want to live a purpose-filled life, shed the relationships that no longer serve you. The most important details in this book are that some relationships in life are more like liability than assets, and that it is important to consider whether the person we're with is adding to our lives or taking things away. It is also important to take an inventory of all of the people in our lives and ask ourselves, is this person adding value to my life or taking value away? This is what the author did, and he discovered that many of his problems were caused by certain people in his life. He made the intentional decision to invest only in reciprocal relationships, and since then, his relationships have been deeper and richer than ever before. God wants us to have relationships that fulfill us, and he supports our decision to let go of the ones that don't. Finally, the key message is to keep working on your singleness to keep your marriage alive.
Many couples put their relationship aside while caring for their children, leading to problems when the kids move out. To restore the vibrancy in their marriage, it is important to go back to the beginning of the relationship process and spend time working on yourself. This could include self-improvement projects such as quitting smoking or learning how to speak French. Additionally, couples should go back to intentional dating to show continuous interest in their partner and find new ways to connect. Many of us aspire to have long-lasting, healthy relationships but don't know how to achieve them. To achieve this, it is important to set clear goals for ourselves and be aware of what we want and need from a partner. Having relationship goals doesn't mean writing a lengthy list of criteria for a potential partner, but rather finding someone who has a strong faith in God and who will support you in fulfilling your life's purpose. It is also important to remember that both you and your partner need a marriage that continues to be mutually supportive, whether or not there are kids in the house. Actionable advice, know the power of words and stop for a second and think of something for which to praise your partner instead. This will help avoid an argument and remind you of the good in the person you chose to marry. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.